Hello and good morning to another episode of Two Tutors Talking. I am your lovely host, Audrey Codner from ACG Math Tutoring. And I have the pleasure, as you notice, every tutor that I have has been tremendous. Even some of the supporters of tutors have been tremendous. And I'm just going to keep that tradition going. So now we're actually going to take a small venture over to India. So we're actually going to just expand and go international. And I'm going to introduce you to Ms. Mandana Joshi. And as soon as I click over, there she is. Hello, Mandana. How are you? Hi, Audrey. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Thanks for taking the time to come and talk with us for a moment. Um, thanks, tell um, us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, my name is Vandana. I'm from India and I tutor math and chemistry. And then what part of India are you from? Not to get too uh, definite with your address and everything, but roughly where are you from? Uh, it's near the capital. So around Delhi, like two hour drive from okay. Delhi. Yeah. Okay, cool. So if anything, like what made you become a tutor of all things? It was actually uh, luck because I was uh, doing this job in which um, I had to tutor college students in, in India only. And then someone recommended me to tutor as a child. And then somehow I found out there were people that were doing this tutoring business. I reached out to them and then I reached out to other people, finally got a client and they were really nice. The student was very supportive. Like I didn't know a lot of things about the American system and stuff, but like doing it with them, I figured it out and yeah, now here I am. That's awesome. So what are like some of the things that you notice that is like coming up in a lot of your sessions? Um, I have noticed that students uh, lack the fundamentals. So for example, if I'll be teaching them algebra, the problem that they are not able to solve the question is because they don't know how to reduce fractions. They don't know how to like cancel similar things out. And that like with my student, this is like a constant problem. I'm always telling him that you cannot like simply cancel things out. You have to like factorize them. You have to take it out of the bracket and then you can cancel it out. And like, it, I have noticed it with other students too. So that's one of the main thing. And the other one would be, I guess, the um, calculation part. I think uh, American system relies a lot on calculators, which is fine, I guess. But uh, just the calculation part, the children are uh, quite weak in that. So like where you are, it's just basically, you don't do too much with calculators. Like a lot of it is like a lot of practice, a lot of memorizing, especially knowing your multiplication tables and like knowing how to operate and how to reduce fractions. Like you see a lot of that over. Yeah. Um, so I, go ahead. So I have noticed that uh, students over here don't really learn their multiplication tables. Like they they have a bit of confusion, I think. At least they should know table up to 15, the times table that mm. is, according to me, the basic because you have to reduce fraction. And for that, you need to know which number uh, is a factor and how you are going to cancel that out. So that is something important. Yes, because we always, and I think a lot, especially as math tutors, we always see that when we're dealing with algebra components, it's not so much the algebra that really gets the kids. Yeah, it's a different visual, but it's not like you're saying, it's not the algebra, it's a lot of the basic components. And I know some people will say, well, my child doesn't struggle with the basics, they're fine. Well, maybe they had a teacher or a few teachers along the way that really did emphasize on not doing things through a calculator, like actually reducing it by using your multiplication facts or your kid might have had multiple teachers in one year during that critical piece 
when they were learning how they can group and regroup through multiplication. So we never knew like that one session or that one year can really impact what happens later on. You see that quite often. Yeah, that is so true. Like uh, once I had this uh, student, I like wrote down X equals five and five equals X. And I asked them whether these two were the same thing. And they were like, no. I was like, this child hasn't been taught that like, you can, you can just flip the equation, right? X equals five, five equals X, same thing. But they didn't know and it's not their fault. Like they were never taught about it. So it's really, it's, it really affects their performance. Yeah. And that's where it all comes down to it. So for if people that are just watching in, I know there are a couple of people that's in here, which is great. If you're watching it live, hit hashtag live. If you're ha watching the replay, hit hashtag replay, cause it helps with the algorithm. So <laughs> it makes everyone happy. So I keep doing it. So if you're just tuning in, we are listening to Ms. Vandana and we're looking at different things that's going on in our sessions. So as like school year is starting, like most, I think right now, all our schools should be starting. If not, what's going on? Because we just finished with our Labor Day on Monday. So I think a lot of people either started school today or they started school yesterday. Um, this is like, should be the last round. So with people coming in, like what are some of the things that we can probably like help parents to kind of look for as their child is saying, doing their homework or trying to study for their math? Like what are some things that you could probably share to parents to help them out, to know that you're gonna need a tutor? Um, I would advise them to like start early because right now I'm noticing that people are reaching out. They want to get the information, but they're not ready to commit. They're like, oh, maybe my child does not need a tutor. Maybe he or she will get this through himself. But the thing is, if they are not doing well in the starting, then they are going to suffer for the whole uh, month or two months that you're going to like let them be. And then they'll have to work extra hard because we have already lost these basic months over which we could have uh, like tackled their fundamentals, the things that they missed out in the last grade. So I think the first advice would be to, if you, if you think your child needs help, get them the help. Like don't think about it again, because it's really important in the end when the exams are approaching, students just cannot grasp the fundamental. They are just like, teach me the topic. I'll just cram it, just teach me the topic. They are not willing to learn. So, right. And it's like that cramming. And we're always <laughs> saying, like, this is what we call, like, you're basically taking a whole bunch of information and you're trying to shove it in your brain. Hopefully, that will get you an A. And then all of a sudden, when you get your test, you're like, why did I just get a D? Because you were mixing up so many different concepts because you were trying to do like 12 different concepts at once and you were mixing it all up. So you weren't really learning it. You were basically cramming it into your head and just hoping that something good was gonna come out of it. So noticing that, not waiting, um, what are some other things like maybe, like I know for me, if a parent noticed that homework is not coming home, but yet when they're looking at the reports, because this is the great thing about technology, parents can see the teacher's grade book. <laughs> so it's not a shock or a surprise anymore. But if you notice that your child's not bringing any homework home, but yet you're seeing grades are missing for homework, that might be something, some kind of indicator that, okay, something needs to step up. Maybe it's not so much a content problem, but it might be an organizational problem. Now, have you seen like a lot of kids with very low organizational skills in your lessons? Yes, I have seen some. So like for some students, it's not about like helping them with the concepts. It's about like helping them, uh, like teaching them how to study, like how to like organize their stuff, what to tackle first, how you're going to like deal with the whole subject. So that is that is also something that students need help with and parents don't realize that they just expect the children to do it on their own 
and for some people especially for uh, special needs kids it is like difficult they need some extra help and i think they should like get them some help if they need it yes and we all know that you know parents can't do everything and that's okay you know you don't have to be superman or superwoman it's perfectly fine to get some assistance and getting a tutor that is willing to not only help with the content but also help with your child's organization as well because if we think about it if they're getting support in school with the breakdown of the concepts they should also be getting that same support at home as well that's awesome that's, that's a great also, thing along with the organizational thing i think uh, for me the tutoring part also involves like motivating the children like uh, it's a given but it works a lot like if you are doing it one on one like i have been with this kid he was scoring an f he was failing okay he uh, switched schools in the middle of the year he was so stressed out and he was like okay fine i just need a d or c i just i just need to pass and i was like no you can do it you are an a grade student you can do it and that constant support like the constant belief in them and trying to do things for them they also feel like okay if my tutor is putting that much effort in uh, my result if they are trying that hard they get the motivation to like work extra hard for that so i think that is also something that parents should consider that uh, if like no offense but kids don't take their parents seriously if you ask your child to study they will be like yeah whatever but no. if you have a person uh, you have a tutor that they can relate with they can bond with uh, if they ask them to work hard if they ask them to like do one or two questions they are like okay fine maybe we, i'll try it so that's also important yes that is like right on the money because it's almost like the old phrase of it takes a village to raise a child and exactly. when you're taking on a tutor you're adding on a good aspect to your family so it's someone like you saying the kids have someone to talk to not just socially but to actually say i'm really stuck on this and feel confident enough to be vulnerable because we all know some of the kids they put that shell up and they don't want to show their weakness because everyone thinks if you're weak then i can run right over you but having that person to talk to that's just amazing to the point so a couple more things so one thing will be like what do you think makes you unique as a tutor like there's tons of math tutors out there one right here especially but what makes you like a little bit unique when it comes to your sessions i think what makes me unique is that as a kid i also struggled with math so uh, this might seem like a shocking thing like i'm tutoring math now but uh, when i was a kid i was not that good at math i was the person that was an average scorer i would like pass all my uh, tests and i'll score well but i was never that confident because i never knew the basics i was just like okay fine i have practiced this much but i don't know like how i am doing it i just managed to get the scores so it took a lot of time like years and years of studying and like practicing questions and doing things on on my own and realizing a lot of tricks and tips like when i was solving this question i was like why didn't my teacher tell me that this was a short way of doing it like this is also how you can do it this thing and this thing is the same thing so all of these yes. realization that i had as a student i think that's what makes me unique because uh, a lot of my students can relate to that because they have the same confusion i share with them my uh, process like i do things like this and the reason behind is this 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 and they can kind of relate to it they're like oh all right i was thinking the same thing like why are we doing this why is this step important so i think that's what makes me unique that's perfect we're definitely one in the same when it comes to that <laughs> so closing up exciting like i feel i hope parents and also other tutors are watching this and just saying okay so i can really just show my personality like for me i was terrible at math fractions no word problems no like i wasn't doing any of that 
And that was my struggle. But now I basically understand that struggle and be able to teach it and break it down to my students. So that's what we're wanting the same. But now that we have this, we have this information, we're seeing this person, we're like, yes, I definitely want to get with Bandana. Like, what are some upcoming attractions or upcoming things that you're looking forward to for this school year? Okay, so for this year, I have started this uh, uh, video series. Like, I break down simple algebra concepts into, like, uh, how to get stuff done and, like, tackle the basic things. So if anyone is interested, they can check that out on my Facebook profile. And other than that, I'll, I'm thinking about taking um, a few more students and like really work on the basics because I have a lot of students uh, that want to work on this, like the thing that is going on in their current year. But I'm trying to help out students that are a grade or two behind and uh, those who need help. So yeah, thinking about that, uh, thinking about setting up a virtual session to like interact with people. So I'll update that soon on my Facebook. Oh, that's okay. That's so good. And then if anything, if anyone wants to reach out, you can go, oh, can't speak. You can go because it's so good. You can go to her Facebook page which is Vandana Joshi, and um, definitely contact her there um, because she's basically there majority of the time. So I, which is getting kind of crazy right now. But one, I just want to thank you so much for stopping in. I greatly appreciate this. This was such a great talk. I love this. Thank you so much for having me. And like, it was quite easy. <laughs> you made it easy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Right? <laughs> Yeah. So this is Two Tutors Talking. We're here every Wednesday. I might be changing it to Thursday because it seems like people are more available on Thursdays, which is fine. Um, but for the most part, we have a couple things. If you are a tutor, let me switch over to my stuff. If you are a tutor and you have a flyer and you want someone to kind of review over your flyer, I am actually doing a free event um, tomorrow, and I have two sessions of it. One is from 8 to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and the other one is the evening for 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. What you do is you can go to my email address, and at the end, you're just going to attach your flyer. And then when we come on during whichever session you pick, I'm actually going to look through your flyer and give you real time adjustments or say, hey, this is great. And then just also give you suggestions of where to put your flyers so you can connect with your ideal clients. And the following week, a week from today, we're actually going to bond in with my other friend, Sharon, and we're going to be working on how to creating content calendars. So if you are a tutor, and then you want to know how to organize all this content. Because as we all know, people need to know that you exist. And one of the ways could be through ads or it could be through posts or it could be videos, all that stuff. So we're actually going to be doing that through my Facebook group, which is from the classroom to online tutoring. So it's a virtual community. And if you're available, go ahead on to Facebook and just sign up for that. And we will welcome you in after you answer the four questions. So once again, this is Two Tutors Talking. My name is Audrey Codner, and we introduce to the world an international math and science tutor, Ms. Mandana Josie. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye now. <laughs>